Namaste everyone. <coughs> Let's begin our Hatha Yoga practice or Hatha Yoga sadhana. In this lesson, we're going to follow our quite a nice balanced sort of approach, clean and gentle asana mudra practices with the balance of sun salutation or Rishikesh Surya Namaskar maybe a few extra dynamic kriyas and then we will do some healing sound practice for our neck, our mind, our consciousness, our attitude with Brahma Mudra so let's begin our journey with finding a comfortable seat sitting upright with straight spine, chin up Softly, gently closing your eyes. Just relaxing, easing or softening your body, mind, your breath. Letting go. Letting go and relax your body. Softening your joints, your muscles. Softening your breath. And then follow a deep rhythmic conscious breathing. Inhaling and exhaling consciously. Inhaling deep, expanding our breath in our lower, mid and upper lobes and exhaling consciously, letting go breath from our lower, mid and upper sections of our lungs. Be aware or conscious to expanding of your lungs, your breathing, and then relaxing of it. Spanda and Nispanda. And if you can, try to consciously expand your breath a little bit more deeper into your lower lungs, your diaphragmatic area, to stimulate our vagus nerves, connecting to our heart, our lungs, our digestive system, bringing that sense of calmness or ease. Breathing in and out, deep and conscious. When you're ready, take your hands to your heart, namaskar, sit down. And then grab your hands, your palms together to roll them up. And a gentle or soft, conscious touch all over your face, your head, neck and your shoulders. And again. Gently and slowly open your eyes. Let's begin to stretch. So we're going to just consciously begin with extending or stretching our legs to the front and beginning with gently or consciously relaxing, easing or bouncing our knees. Just to create a sense of using up or getting to be a bit active, wiggling our toes. 
flexing your feet up and down. Settling our feet, moving in a clockwise and then anti-clockwise manner. Again, seeing your knees, your legs, shaking your legs, shaking your head. Let's get forward on to our right leg and then consciously flexing our foot up and down. Circling our foot, moving in clockwise and then anti-clockwise manner. Give it a little good shake to your leg and release, relax. See your side, left leg, flexing your foot up and down, circling it around and then change direction. Give it a good shake to your leg. <coughs> And relax. Take your right leg, lift it up against or on top of your left leg. And then consciously bouncing your knees. And get forward on to your foot when you're ready. Breathe in, stretch, expand, open out. And breathe out, let go and release. Few rounds in. Out. In and out. You can have your foot on top of your left thigh or you can have it against your left thigh and just gently bounce forward, lengthening or expanding through your spine, reaching all the way forward to your foot. Breathe. And then breathe in, raise and lift your arms up. And breathe out, stretch forward. <coughs> breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Or work quickly your right arm free, breathing in, swing it open to create a bit of conscious twist and breathe out, stress forward. Breathe in, out. Breathe in, and out. And then breathe in, raise your arms up to the left and let go and release. Then switch your side, our legs. So take your left foot to the right thigh or on top of your right leg and just consciously bounce your knee to begin. Creating a bit of little bit of loosening up. Breathe. And then hold on to your foot. And when you're ready, breathe in. Stretch and expand, open out. And breathe out, release. Breathe in. Out, breathe in, out, one more, breathe in, and out. Again, you can have your foot up on top or you can have it against your right thigh and then gently and consciously bounce forward. Reach down to your foot. And from here, breathe in, raise or lift your arms up and breathe out, stretch forward. Breathe in, out. Breathe in, out. One more, breathe in. Out. Hold here for a few conscious breaths. And then left arm breathing in, swing it open. And out and release, stretch forward. Breathe in. Out. 
breathe in, up, and then breathe in, raise your arms up, lift it up, release and relax. Let's take both of our feet together or soles together into Badakonasana. Bonded feet position and then consciously bouncing your knees. <clears throat> Hold your feet together, your knees down, and let's see if you like to take your arms forward and just circling each one of your fingers. Go quiet and if you are quiet. And then all of them can do a little bit of our magic. Get off your fingers, opening and closing your fists. Take your arms up, really lift them up and keep opening and closing your fists out to the side. And then bring to the front, cross them over. And really give a nice hug to yourself, wrap your arms around your shoulders, bring your head down and see if you can just gently take your head down. And breathing and raise your head up, look up and lift your arms up. And again, breathe out, just give a nice conscious hug. One more, breathe in. And out. And then release, relax. Let's get a nice rolling of your shoulders in one direction and then other. Head down and then circling your head. And again, moving in clockwise and anti clockwise direction. And give it a little conscious shake to your head, using up your two. Okay, let's come around on all fours in four fitted Chatuspadasana. Just taking a conscious moment here. We'll do a couple of rounds of Vyagra Pranayama, Tiger breathing together. Breathe out. If you are ready, breathe in, keep your spine down. Head up, breathing the extension through your spine. Breathe out, lift your spine from the middle, draw your belly in and chin into your chest, go on, the, on your fingertips. Then keep following, breathe in, up, in. Out. In. Out. And then we turn back to all fours. We're going to from here move into a bosom dance now. So now can you consciously breathe in, keep your spine down, arch your back, lift your head up, and then breathe out, come back to all fours, and go all the way back with your heels, your buttocks on your heels, head down to the knee. Breathe in, come forward and stretch into Buddhagasana. And breathe out, let go and release, relax. Again, breathe in. One more, breathe in. Up. Taking a moment here to relax. Come back and up into all fours, Chatuspadasana. Now take your toes on the floor here. When you're ready, can you breathe in, raise your knees up, press back on your heels, Medu Asana. And breathe out, letting go and release. 
breathe in, out, breathe in, out, one more, breathe in, take a moment here if you can just gently pedal your feet, your knees, your ankles or knees up and down. And when you're ready, just consciously walk your feet forward and breathe out, head down to your knees. And if you can, just simply bounce to the right, bounce to the left, creating this sense of loosening up, easing through your body. Head down and hold here for a moment. And then consciously unfold. To stand upright. Lovely. Let's take a moment just to be aware to how our body is changing or re-existing with the gravity. Have a sip of water if you need. Okay, let's continue. So we do a little bit of warming up in standing if you like. Take your right leg forward. And then gently or consciously flexing your foot up and down, circling it in clockwise, anti clockwise, giving it a really good stick, and then left leg, circling your foot, and then change direction, give it a good stick. If you like, take your right leg up and then circle your leg into your knee joint. Clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Circle into your hip joint. Change direction. Left leg is flexing your foot up and down. Circling your foot. Give it a sick and then circling into your knee joint. And then static sun. Circling into a hip joint. And let's give it a good stick. So you put your hands again and do a really good cleansing, decluttering around your pranic field, your energetic field, all around you. And then breathe again, draw it all in, and let go and push out. Have a sip of water if you need. It's really important to keep ourselves nice and hydrated. Okay, so let's come in front of our space in Samisthiti. Hands to heart, Namaskar. And we do a round of our CKs to the Namaskar. Let's follow the Gavarisi first. Breathe out. Breathe in, drop your arms down, raise them up in a big circle under the mudra. Breath, breath, breathe out, take your hands to heart. Fold forward, hasta pada. Breathe in half there. And then step your right leg back, knee down. And then move into Merwasana. Hold here for a few conscious breaths. From Merwasana, knees, chin, chest down, Stand over Vinavasta, and then breathe in and press through up into Bhuzanga. Breathe out to Meru. Again, take a few conscious breaths here. When you're ready, right foot forward. Keep your left knee on the floor, keep your toes stuck underneath. Look forward, coming into the left. 
and then step forward, breathe out, head to the knees, breathe in, Namaskar, Anjali Mudra, back, back, and then fold forward again, Hastapad, breathe in, halfway up, stepping your left leg back, Aswasana, and then Meruasana, take a couple of conscious breaths here, Knees, chin says down, saluting to the Mother Earth, Star and Gobi Namaskar. Breathe in, press up into Bhujanga. Breathe out the middle. Few conscious breaths. When you're ready, left foot forward, right leg back. Coming down into the lunge and then step forward. Breathe out, head to the knee, hasta pada, breathe in. Namaskar, Anjali Mudra, back bend, and then press the upper knee into the energy. Lovely, step back and relax for a moment. Just taking a couple of conscious breaths. Inhaling and exhaling deep. Okay, let's come back at front of our space again, if you all like. So we'll do one more round. Same way, listen, Namaskar Mudra. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathe in. Reach your arms down in a big circle to Anjali Mudra. Back bend if you like. Breathe out. Fold forward, hasta pad. Breathe in halfway up, look forward. Step your right leg back and down. Come down into the lunge and then step into Medosana. Taking a couple of breaths. When you're ready, knees, still chest down. Stand Bhumi Namaskar, Bhujangasana. Medosana. Couple of conscious breaths. Right foot forward. Left foot down, come forward into the lunge. And then step forward. Breathe out, head to the knees. Breathe in Namaskar Mudra, Anjali Mudra, back bend. Continue again, breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in halfway up. Left foot back. Come down into the lunge. And then step into Meruasana. Take a couple of breaths here. Knees, chin chest down. Stand Bhumi Namaskar. In. Press up and through into Bhujanga. Breathe out into Meru. Couple of conscious breaths. When you're ready, left foot forward. Coming down into the lunge. And then step forward. Breathe out, head to the knees. In, Namaskar, Anjali Mudra, back bend. And then press him open into the energy. Samistati, return back. And again, take a few relaxing, conscious breaths. Allowing your breathing, your heart, your muscles to return back to their natural relaxing position. Okay, let's come back at front of our space again, if you all like. So we'll do one more round. Same way, listen, Namaskar Mudra. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathe in. Reach your arms down in a big circle to Anjali Mudra. Back bend if you like. Breathe out. Fold forward. Hasta Pada. 
Breathing halfway up, look forward. Step your right leg back. Come down. Come down into the lunge. And then step into Medosa. Taking up your breath. When you let knees, still chest down. Stand Bhumi Namaskar, Bhujangasana. Nirvasana. Couple of conscious breaths. Right foot forward. Sit down, come forward into the lungs. And then step forward. Breathe out, head to the knees. Read in Namaskar Mudra, Anjali Mudra, back bend. Continue again, breathe out, fall forward. Read in half here. Left foot back. Come down into the lungs. And then step into Meruasana. Take a couple of breaths here. Knees, chin chest down, stand the in Namaskar. In, breaths up and through into Bhujanga. Breathe out into middle. Couple of conscious breaths. When you're ready, left foot forward. Coming down into the lunge. And then step forward. Breathe out, head to the knees. In, Namaskar, Anjali Mudra, back bend, and then bursting open into the energy. Some is the feet, return back. And again, take a few relaxing, conscious breaths, allowing your breathing, your heart, your muscles to return back to their natural, relaxing position. Okay, let's come up front of our space again. So we'll do one round of our, one of the, the Sanatan Vedisana of Rishi Suri Namaskar. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathe in, arms down, step up over your head, Anjali Mudra. Back bend. Breathe out, fold forward, Hasta Bhada. Breathe in halfway up. And then step your right leg back, knee down. Maybe we can try to take our arms up first, palms facing to the front, and then gently with the next in breath, come forward into the lunge, arch back. Lovely. And then release. Taking your both feet back into the plank, Santulasana. Then hold for a few conscious breaths, engaging your core, your solar plexus. Reach up into Medvasana. Again, hold for a few conscious breaths. Just give me a little bit of isometric, the aesthetic benefit of our asana, our practice. And then following knees, chin chest down, stand the room in a star. Hold. Eat yourself to come up and through into Uzangasana. From here, gently float up into Medvasana. Right foot forward, left knee down, come up with your arms alongside, and with the next conscious inhalation, then you come forward and down into the lungs. Hold for a couple of breaths if you like, and release. And then stepping forward, breathe out, fold down, cut the body. In halfway up, namaskar. Anjali Mudra, back back, and then bursting open into the light. Relax in some instantly, just take a moment. So 
The sky will move round, hands to your heart, next card. Breathe out. In, arms down, this time up into Anjali Mudra, back bend, and breathe out. Fold forward, Hasta Pada. Breathe in hard, yeah? And then step in your left leg back this time. Knee down and take your toes. Your arms can be on the side or you can take them all the way up. And then with inhaling breath, we want to come down into the lungs and arch back. And breathe. Lovely. And then release. Moving into Sankalasana. And we hold that. Just be aware to all your focus points, your pressure points. Breathe. Move into Meruasana. And breathe here. When you're ready, knees, chin, chest down. Saluting to Bhattarath. Stanga Bhumi Namaskar. Bhujangasana. Holding for a few conscious breaths. Meruasana. And then left foot forward, right knee down, take your arms to side or pull the way up. Taking your time when you're ready, inhale and come down into the strong lungs, Anjaniyasana. And then release. Step forward. Breathe out, fold down, head to the knee, up the back. In, Namaskar. And then you move to the back bend and then burst open into the light, into the energy. Lovely, step back and relax. Just taking a few conscious breaths. Just to inhale and exhale deep. Okay, let's do one more set of our sequence for the vinyasa. We're going to do a few more postures and maybe we'll try to hold the postures for a little longer. So right hands to heart, namaskar. Just hold into that still, soft, equally standing pose for a few conscious breaths. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathe in, arms reaching up into Anjali Mudra. Now clasp your fingers, study your palms inside out. Stretch your arms over and maybe you can try to softly try to raise your heels up to come up on your tiptoes. Tadasana. Can we hold our posture here? And then release. Gently take your arms out to both sides and then fold forward. Release behind to catch hold onto your legs or your ankle joints. And then fold forward, really giving a nice hug to your thighs and your chest and seeing reaching over your knees towards your feet. And then head down and hold. Hasta Padasana. If you feel you want to go into a little bit more deeper stretch, you can go into Nirala, unsupported, taking your arms behind your back, interlocking your fingers and then stretch them a bit more deeper and breathe there. Lovely, and release, take your hands to the floor, come halfway up. Maybe we can move into a Utkatasana, bring your hands on your knees. So taking that nice comfortable seat for the chair. You can join your hands to Namaskar, can you keep your elbows on your knees or they can be floating. Or you can stretch your arms forward, breathe. Lovely. 
Take your hands down, fold forward once more, just to counterbalance. Come halfway up and step your right leg back, hands in asana. Now you can have your hands on the floor, to side, forward. Or maybe we can try to take our hands behind our back and then interlock your fingers. Breathe out. When you're ready, breathe in. Come forward, down into the lunge and arch your arms back towards your knee and hold. Lovely, and release. Now be strong on your hands to move into our Santulasana the plank. Now if you need, drop your right knee on the floor and we'll gently roll onto our right arm to take our left arm up. Our side plank. Breathe here. And then return back. Right leg up, left knee down. Roll to our left side, take your right arm up. Breathe. And then release. From here, move up into Meruasa. Take a moment. If you like, can we take our right leg up? We raise the lift and extend it up. Meruasana, Eta Pada. Look through your arms, step your foot forward, left foot slightly turning sideways. So we can naturally come up into our Virasana. Lovely, right foot down, arms straight. Look over your right hand, your fingers. Breathe conscious. Lovely. Turn to the front from your torso area, arms to side and then over. And then reach forward, hands to the floor. Now can you hold right leg straight? Take your head and reach in over your knee. And ease yourself to step back. Into Meruasana. If you are ready, left leg up. We really raise it up as high as you can reach. Few conscious breath. Step your foot forward when you're ready. Allow your right leg to roll off to the side. And gently raise and float up into Virasana. Couple of conscious breaths here. Keep breathing in your posture. Turning to the front, over your head, reach forward. Now left leg straight and fold over your left leg. Ease and step back into Mirwasana. When you let your knees, chin this down. Time to make a mascar. In and rest through into Buzangasana. Taking a moment. If you feel comfortable, can you breathe in and fold your right leg? Hold for a few breaths. Release. Left leg. Head and foot points back to each other. Lovely, and release. And gently return back up into Meruasana. If you are ready, take your right leg up again. Really extend your leg up. And as you're breathing out, you're going to bring your knee on the floor to the front. Left leg extend behind. And then gently drop your elbows to your front knee. Head on your knee, rest. Gently bring your head up, use your hands to push up, arching your back now. Can we take our right arm up, stretch back, 
Or you have a few conscious breaths. And then release. Left arm up, stretch back. And then release. And gently push back on your left leg to take your right leg all the way back up to the ceiling, to the sky. And release it down. Left leg when you're ready, left leg up. Breathe conscious. And then bring your knee forward. Lift your arms, right leg stretch behind. And then take your arms, your elbows down. Rest over your knee. Breathe. Slowly, so take your right arm up, stretch or arms back, and then release. Switch your arms, left arm up, stretch back, and then release. And again, take your right foot on the floor to straight back up, and then release your feet down, middle also. When we're ready, you need to take your right leg or foot forward and take your left foot, your toes, take your arms to the side, forward, or right leg then behind, you need to lock your fingers, come forward and down into the left. Breathe. And let me, and release. Step forward. Breathe out, foot forward, as the power. Halfway up, take your arms in a big circle towards the mudra. Back bend. And bursting open into the light. Lovely. Step back and relax. Just taking a couple of conscious breaths through our body. Whatever it is. Let's breathe in, take our arms up over our head, Anjali Mutra, look up, back bend, and as you breathe in out, come down into our score, Utkarasana. You can have your knees on the floor if you need to, keep your toes tucked underneath. And then breathe out. Breathing in, taking our hands to our throat, our center of our speech, communication, third eye. Top of head to the demand under the mudra, opening up our arms in a big circle. Come forward, give a really nice hug to yourself. And then come down to rest inwards asana. Sit completely on your feet. In Vajrasana, when you're ready, can you breathe in? Take your arms over your head and mudra, look up. And maybe interlock your fingers, turn your palms inside out. Really lift your arms up. And can you consciously press your chin down towards our chest and hold here? Breathe. And then release. Come forward. You can bring your arms on the floor. Your arms nice and extended. And then drop your head down. Step down. Head up. Reach your arms back up. 
Knees then down, and we take our hands behind to support on the floor behind our feet, and then breathe in gently. Raise your buttocks to arch your back, push trust now. Ready, exhale, and breathe. And then gently and consciously relax. Let's choose a comfortable seat or posture. You can be in cross legged, you can be on your feet in Vajrasana. So we're going to complete our practice with this beautiful set of our sound healing work known as Brahma Mutras. So this practice is really great to, to release, remove the tension and all the trauma and injuries from our neck and soul area. Also really great practice to work on our perspective, so helping to release and remove the old memories associated with our physical or mental emotional and our spiritual being opening up to the perspective of right left up and down so we can be multi-dimensional and also being able to see all different ways to deal with the same situation our experiences our life events this practice is known as brahma mudra so the brahma is the creator who in sort of yogic mythology has four heads so with in breath, we're going to take our head towards the right side, I'll demonstrate a round. And with out breath, we make the sound ah, uh, and when we do the sound, we return back. So if you just see what we do, breathing into the right. Uh. sound for the right side then for the left side we have the sound oo for the up we have the sound e and then for the down we have the sound coming mm. and with the sound we are returning back to the middle so let's do three rounds hands on your knees in yana mudra or just simply resting on your left either way is fine breathe out breathe into the right side keep your eyes open Third round. 
taking your, your sound, your conscious visualization a little bit more subtler into your pranic, your energetic field to the right side. In. <laughs> Bringing this beautiful sense of healing, deep relaxation, inner calmness. It's letting go and relax. Comfortable, just sit up, uh, sit upright for another few minutes. But also, if you do feel you want to lie down to enjoy the deeper experience of your sound, your relaxation, your sexual practice, please do that. So, just find that comfortable place without making too much disturbance to this inner calmness or subtleness of your energy. Just visualizing this beautiful warm golden aura of the energy surrounding around your head, your crown. As we see this depiction, so many beautiful pictures, images of various aspects of divine, the great saintly masters. This warm help Euphoric energy, a big egg or oval energy sovereign around your head. And in this moment, I like you to create a beautiful, positive image of yourself. I like you to really go into, instead of thinking what I don't want to, or what I don't want, either the problems, health issues, bring the image, the imagery that what you like to be. Having that perfect image of health, calmness, balance, self-belief, confidence, a positive attitude, the positive core values for our life, the beautiful virtues of 
being brave, being strong, to live, to grow, to prosper. Sense of kindness or compassion, attitude of non-harming, sincere dedication or discipline for our health, our evolution, our well-being. It's that self-love, self-care that we need to learn. The answers are within, especially for people like us seeking for health and well-being, for the peace. And the answers can never be found outward. They are within us. So going inward, deep within, to have this beautiful communication or union with yourself, union of your body, mind, consciousness, your breath, bringing that yogic trusty or the yogic viewpoint, attitude, to see who you like to be. And visualize that image. And to leave you all in a quiet, peaceful space, to enjoy this image of health, well being, peace, calmness. 